Hi guys and welcome. You're joining me today for a video on how to make a glamorous, luxurious scarf. Now, what makes a scarf luxurious and glamorous, you might add? Well, one is the fabric that you're using and two is if you're going to be putting any trims or beads, embellishments on it just to give it that extra oomph. Now, I've made this scarf. This is the particular scarf that I am going to be making today and it's in this beautiful, beautiful crushed velvet now i've put a tassel on the end as you can see so this would be a scarf that i would um more than likely wear on a night if i was going out to the pub pictures anywhere where i was going out for a night i probably wouldn't go to work in this because i think it's just a bit too over the top but this is really really easy and simple to make now stay tuned for the end because i'm going to be actually doing a giveaway but the first giveaway that i've done in a sewing tutorial but i'm actually doing one today so if you'd like to see how i make this scarf guys keep watching so i've got my scarf laid out and i'm literally going to see how wide it is and that is going to be i'm going to call it 15 and off it's just under but 15 and off but because i'm going to be doing it double-sided I'm going to allow, um, I'm going to cut it to, let's have a look. I'm only going to put a small hem on the inside because I don't want it bulky on the inside. So I'm going to, when I cut it, I'll cut it at 16 inch and then that'll just give me a tiny um, seam allowance on both sides. Now it's folded in half because this is an extremely long scarf. It's my favourite scarf and I absolutely love it. So I'm just going to measure that and to the end is 51 so i need to cut that at it's obviously 102 because it's folded in half so i'm going to cut that at 100 and uh, 104 is what i'm going to be doing cutting the fabric to to get this length i'm going to mark it at 16 inch like i said all the way across So I've cut another three pieces out, so I've got four pieces because I'm self-lining it. And there's a salvage on this, so from inside the salvage, inside of the salvage there, I've measured 52 inch because two sides at 52 gives me my 104 that I wanted, allowing for the seam allowance. So I'm just going to cut the end off there and that gives me my 104 inch. So let me just fold that one up. That's one. Let me get the other two pieces on. That's my scarf fabric. Right, so I'm just get rid of this fabric. Right, now this is a black piece of fabric that my mother-in-law sent two pieces down recently. So I'm going to use this tassel for the end of the scarf. Right, so first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut across the bottom. And it, goes, it actually shapes up this. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it shapes up. So I'm just going to cut above the top of that. So that can be stitched in. Right, so let me get these marked to 16 inch. Comes to. So I'm just measuring this to the width of the scarf, which I said 16 inch, which is going to be. I want to get this so it's going to look even. Mm. So I've got two points there. Yeah, so I'm going to do it so that they're even, you know, in the scarf. So let me just mark that, cut that there, sorry. And then I'm going to cut that there. So that there, that's going to be 
on the end of the scarf and then with this piece I'm going to cut the exact same so these are my two end pieces for the ends of the scarf I'm just going to go and stitch now down the centre of that joining those two pieces together and then the same on this I'm just going to basically stitch down it joining them together I'm going to do that off camera because they're stitched together and I've done quite a tiny hem on there you can just see the stitch in there so I'm just going to clip the fringing onto the edge of the scarf so I'm going to get this one Right, so we're just going to go and stitch that on. Right, so what I'm going to do now then, I'm just going to lay first off of this flat. Let me do it where that I'm working with the fabric coming smooth towards me. Smooth. Get rid of that because I don't need it. Smooth. That's it, so I've got both the smoothnesses. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be leaving a gap of about probably four inch to pull the scarf through on one of these um, side pieces side seam should I say Back to the machine, guys. I'm just making sure that there's no tassel in this seam that's going to be stitched down. And I'm going to just keep the edge of this on the inside of the foot there. That's going to be my guideline for uh, my seam allowance. Now on this side, I'm going to leave two inch at each side of the joining. And this will be where I will turn the scarf the right way. Let's have a look at that. Let me just get that down. And 
cut that excess off because that's just going to be bulk that we don't need. some of this corners off the other one let's get the corners cut off right let's get this pulled through so let me just where's the all that I've just pulled that through here so I'm just going to stitch this up as much as I can so I've got to do as little as as little stips, as little slip stitching as possible. So let me just turn that back on, and then get as much as I can come to the seam. Like I say, as much as I can. So now all I've got to do is two inch instead of the four or five inch that I left. So all I've got to do now then is this bit that's left when I pulled it through, I'm just going to slip stitch this. So I've got the cotton's been doubled, I've got a knot in it. Where that's turned under on the inside, I'm bringing the needle up so the knot is under there. Right, so I need to hold this together and what I'm going to do is slip stitch this several times to close it. So it's going to be closed on the inside. Right, so let me just bring that up. And then just carry on. Where's the opening to there? So I'm going inside, weaving inside that turnover on the inside. So you can see there that it's closing. I'm going to fetch it the other way around now and do it the opposite, weaving back. So I'm just pulling that so that it's... Right, so let's just have a look at that because that's... So you can see there where it's closed it, you know here, that's where I've just slip stitched it. So what I'm going to do here is then now, I'm just going to keep doing a couple of stitches, taking that inside to secure it before I cut it off. Couple more because I don't want that coming undone. Okay, let me just cut that, put that there, and then that is that slip stitched. Right, guys, so as you can see, this is the finished scarf. It's lovely and long, it's got some weight to it because it is velvet, but it's not too heavy. And there's different, different ways I can wear this, I could just sling one over one shoulder, sling the other end over the other shoulder. I can pull it down because it's a nice long scarf and have this draped. And then I can just take it off, pull these through and wear it like that. And because it's quite, it's quite a good width as well because it's like 15 inch. Uh, I could wear it like that with just a jacket on, but I have got a beautiful long black cardigan that basically comes to my ankles and a black velvet one. So this is going to look great with both of those. Right, I can even just put it like that. Wrap that round and then again I've got the lovely long scarf. Now right, let me just see it because of this. Wait, if I look. Of a 
yeah if i've got like a nice dress on i could even just wear it there's the thing there get that and i could just wear that like that and have, a, have it over my shoulders on a nice dress now i did make my eldest daughter one in the dark green and it's this one now there wasn't a lot of fabric left on this so basically i've lined it in like a georgetta fabric but it's the same color and i haven't put any uh fancy stuff on the end because i don't think she'd like that our page but this again because of the color of it she could wear this day or night easy again it's so nice because of the velvet and she can dress it up dress it down for day or night but you can just see guys how easy it is to knock yourself a, uh, a scarf up you can dress them up with lovely beautiful fabrics like i said the glamorous and luxurious scarves it's all in the fabric and if you're going to have any tassel or embellishments beads trims whatever they're all going to make this scarf more glamorous and luxurious to wear i'm just going to show you now guys what's in the giveaway first of all there's two scrunchies because i know you guys love my scrunchies the second one is one of these pouches now this was uh, originally designed for as a sanitary wallet and this was requested by my eldest daughter so i designed this and made it up so you've got a big compartment in the front and there's two smaller ones in the back and there is sanitary products in there it's got the tina bambina labeling because like i said uh, this is something that i've made now you can use these for a multitude of things you could put a pair of glasses in the front and some cleaning wipes for your glasses in the back uh, I've got one in my handbag to keep my handbag clean because I put my lipsticks in it I've got a mirror in it and my lip liner they all go in this fastened up and it goes in my handbag when I'm going out on a night so uh, like I said a multitude of things you can use that for and then I've got two bags that I've made here Tina Bambina label again because like I said I've made them this particular one is a weekend laundry bag so it's lined in a cotton you've got a on these particular ones because i've got different designs you've got a lace pull and once the lace pull tires or whatever all you've got to do is get a safety pin and something else to thread through it because these bags will last you for years because it's a really good quality fabric that's been made of them so that's your laundry bag i'm gonna pull that out then your second one is done in the same fabric so it's a matching bag but this is a shoe bag and down the centre it is stitched so you've got two compartments in that bag two compartments so you can keep your shoes separate because i got sick and tired of basically chucking a, a pair of boots or shoes in a carrier bag and putting them in my weekend bag weekender bag that i just decided to make some shoe bags up and again these are lined in cotton uh, it's a good quality fabric that it's made on so you've got two matching bags there that you can just um on your weekend bag chuck your shoes in one of them as you you know you're wearing your clothes and you're getting changed for at night you can chuck your dirty washing in the bag put it back in your weekend bag and it's keeping your clean clothes clean because you're not putting dirty washing in or a pair of shoes that's been dirty on the bottom because you've been walking outside with you so all these are in the one giveaway so one person will win those and to be with a chance of winning in the comments all you need to put is love to win i hope you've enjoyed this uh, mate guys don't forget have a go entering the competition because those shoe bags and the laundry bags they are great like i said if you're going through friends for a night or you're going somewhere for the weekend just keeping your your shoes and your dirty clothes separate from your clean stuff thanks for watching guys take care for now i'll see you soon bye for now